hello everyone today we are going to discuss division of fractions but before we continue please remember to share this video like i said today we are going to discuss division of fractions we have examples simplify all these things so we start with number one three over four divided by 1 over 12 for us to evaluate this division when you are dividing a fraction by another fraction this division sign we change to multiplication and after changing it to multiplication you are going to invert this fraction so the answer will be Three over four times we change this thing into twelve over one. So if you are dividing a fraction by another fraction, this division sign we change to multiplication and we invert this fraction. So we have twelve over one, but three times twelve will give you. 86 4 times 1 will give you 4. You see, you can divide now. 4 will divide itself 1. 4 divides 36, it will give you 9. So the answer is 9. Number 2, we have 2 whole number 1 over 4 divided by 3. If you look at this one, we have two whole number, one over four. For us to solve this, this one is a fraction, but this one is a whole number. First of all, we are going to make this one to look like a fraction. So we have three over one. It's now a fraction, just like this one. For us to solve this, we need to change this thing into improper fraction so we have 4 times 2 8 8 plus 1 9 so we are going to have so we change this to 9 over 4 divided by 3 over 1 here we now invert it change this division sign into multiplication sign we have so when we change it to multiplication sign we invert this so you can see what we have now nine times one is nine four times three is twelve but we have a number which can divide 9 and 12, and that number is 3. So, 3 will divide 9, you have 3. 3 will divide 12, you have 4. So, the final answer is 3 over 4. Then, number 3. We have 6 whole number divided by 3 over 5 so first of all we need to make this one to look like a fraction by dividing by 1 so we have 6 over 1 so we change this to multiplication we have and so when we change it to multiplication, we invert the fraction. So you see what we have now. So 6 times 5, 30. 1 times 3, 3. You see, 3 can divide itself, 1. 3 can divide 30, 10. So the answer is 10. If you look at number 4, 
we have two whole number two over five divided by one whole number one over three first of all we need to change this one into improper fraction here we change it to improper fraction so five times two is ten ten plus two twelve so we have 12 over 5 that's what we have here 12 over 5 divided by 3 times 1 3 plus 1 4 here we now change it to multiplication then we have So as soon as we change it to multiplication, we are going to invert the fraction. You can see that. So 3 times 12, 36. 5 times 4, 20. But we can check. You see that 36 is bigger than 20. So we use 20 to divide 36 is going to give you one remainder 16 so the answer will be 1 whole number 16 over 20 but 4 can divide 16 and 4 can divide 20 so we need to reduce 16 over 20 to lowest term. So we do 4 divides 16, it will give you 4. 4 divides 20, you have 5. So the final answer will be 1 whole number, 4 over 5. And that is the final answer, 1 whole number, 4 over 5. So when you have fractions, you can easily divide a fraction by another fraction. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video and please like this video. Thanks for watching.